in the uh, in the next stage in the next stage what we are going to discuss the digestion of proteins in the duodenum here is the food material you have to take into consideration the proteins proteins are acted upon by what trypsin trypsin doesn't come in the form of trypsin from pancreatic uh, from pancreas now trypsin comes into duodenum in the form of what trypsinogen the trypsinogen is acted uh, uh, that cannot act upon what genes trypsinogen is first activated by two ways those are what trypsin already present trypsin or enterokinase okay what's the other the case may be the enterokinase are trypsin they act upon what trypsinogen and that is converted into trypsin trypsin is a active form trypsinogen is an inactive form nature has devised this phenomenon suppose the trypsinogen was act produced in the trypsin form from pancreas what should have happened the the duct should have got dissolved so nature doesn't want such a type of the abnormalities wherever it is required that is activated otherwise it is produced it is produced in a inactive form that is transported by what pancreatic duct and that pancreatic duct joins what the common bile duct and it becomes what hepatopancreatic duct here is ampulla ampulla from where it enters into the duodenum that ampulla again is is a point where where the control of these secretions happens now the peptides these are acted upon by what trypsin and these are converted into what dipeptides okay now the third is what third type of the digestion the third part of the digestion is what the digestion of lipids these lipids they cannot be acted upon by the lipids the lipids can act upon the smaller lipids you know you have stated in the, in the biochemistry that the that the lipids are large molecules okay so these are cut into small pieces they are emulsified and those are known as what these are emulsified to what bile salt that bile comes from what that is producing in the cells no. what liver they the bile is uh, bile is accumulated in the gall bladder gall bladder and from the gall bladder it enters into what the cystic duct or or except for gall bladder it will directly get into what the hepatic duct and that joins what this this duct and uh, the cystic duct and it becomes what common bile duct it is a, it is it is transported to what the duodenum the bile the bile acts on what the lipids and the lipids are known as lipids they become what the emulsified lipids clear yes now these emulsified lipids they are acted upon by what lipids lipids and this lipids this lipids by the action of this lipids these emulsified lipids they become glycerols and fatty acids the fatty acids the glycerol or glycerol the fatty acids either could be large fatty acids or the small fatty acids we'll discuss later when they are transported or they they get into what the blood where what is their fate where do do the large fatty acids go and where do the small fatty acids okay how how is the difference in the transportation of small fatty acids and large fatty acids now how here is the question how these secretions are the secretions of pancreas pancreatic tissues and the secretion of bile these are controlled are regulated these are regulated by what the secretin which is uh, which is a hormone which is a hormone okay secretin is a peptide consisting of 27 amino acids okay 
and it is produced from the duodenal, duodenal mucosa. Duodenal mucosa. Secreting, secreting acts upon what? The gallbladder and pancreas. Pancreatic juice is transported. Bile is secreted. By what? The action of what? Secreted. 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 Yet there is another function. Now, you see, the, the gastrin, gastrin was produced in the, in the last lecture we have studied that the gastrin controls, it regulates what the production and secretion of what? The, the, the gastric juice. Now, suppose that the gastrin is, that, that gastrin keeps on, on producing, what will happen? The gastric juice will be produced. And if the food, food has been digested, now gastrin is no more needed. So, gastrin is inhibited by what? Secret. So, secret has two functions. Secretory function and inhibitory function. It inhibits the gastric mucosa so that the gastrin may not be produced. Okay? And number two, it has secretory function. Secretory functions are two. What? One is the, the secretion of secretion of gall or the secretion of bile. The second is what? Secretion of pancreatic tools. Okay? In the next lecture, we will study, inshallah, what the, the digestion in the udinum, uh, the fourth part, that is what the action of, action of what? Chimo, chimo, tripsy, nojin. Okay? How? How it helps trypsin? How it helps the digestion of food? In, in the next lecture, we'll start from here. Thank you very much.